Gerald Bull Mimi gave birth to their first son, Philippe, on 3 July 1955, and a second, Michel, in November 1956. In 1954, Bull decided that a wind tunnel was too important to ignore, even if he could not arrange for funding through the DRB. Instead, he gained the ear of professors at Laval University in Quebec City, and Bull and a number of graduate students started work on a tunnel similar to the one he had earlier built at the U of T. It opened in the summer of 1955 and was capable of speeds up to Mach 4, but cost only $6,000, the result of using scrap for most of its parts. All the parts of Bull's future efforts, smoothbore high-velocity guns, sabots for increasing performance, and hardened electronics, were now complete. Mordel had long maintained links with Card and became one of Bull's ardent supporters, in spite of what other professors saw as second-rate attempts at manipulation and that, Mordel, always supported Bull's work. I think sometimes he got pretty tired of supporting Bull. Bull, for his part, appeared to enjoy the new position, and later described it as a marriage made in heaven. In late 1961 Bull visited Murphy and Trudeau at Aberdeen and was able to interest them in the idea using guns to loft missile components for re-entry research, a task that was otherwise very expensive and time-consuming aboard rockets. At SRC Bull continued the development of his high-velocity artillery, adapting the Harp Smoothbore into a new reverse rifle design where the lands of a conventional rifling were replaced by grooves cut into the barrel to make a slightly larger gun also capable of firing existing ammunition. Starting in 1975, Bull designed a new gun based on the common US-155 forward slash 39M109 howitzer, extending it slightly to 45 caliber through modifications that could be applied to existing weapons, calling the resulting weapon the GC-45 howitzer. Based on his HARP results, Bull secured additional Iraqi funding and support for the construction of a smooth gun barrel assembly. Initially, a smaller 45 meter, 350 mm caliber gun was completed for testing purposes and then Bull started work on the real PC-2 machine, a gun that was 150 meters long, weighed 1,510 tons, with a bore of 1 meter that would allow the firing multistate rocket-assisted shells with a range of over 5,000 m or launch 1,200 pound satellites into orbit. Within hours of the killing, according to Thomas, Mossad was engaged in distributing false stories to the European media, alleging that Bull had been shot by agents from Iraq. Although it was in the immediate interest of both Israel and Iran that Bull discontinue his cooperation with Saddam Hussein, he had worked for many different parties in many critical defense projects, and had become both an asset and a liability for several powerful groups simultaneously, 87C5CA70A8C4. 